as an executive assistant or an ops boss, you need a personal management task system. And Google actually has this system built right into it. So I wanted to take you on a quick tour of how I'm using some of the Google applications to manage my own tasks and emails. So right in Gmail, you have um, your calendar over here, your keep and tasks. And if this is hidden for you, there is a little arrow right down here that you can open up and that will pop those open so you can see them. And then all you have to do is click on it and it will open up the pane completely for you. And then you can still navigate to the other items over here. I love having this calendar feature over here. This keeps me on track because this is actually what I leave open most of the day. I have not planned my week ahead yet. And so what you see on here is meetings that I um, are my big rocks for Monday. And I have yet to schedule any of the um, projects or tasks yet. So that's why that's kind of um, blank for time blocking. Uh, what I want to show you is, let's actually start with tasks, because I think this is um, going to be very helpful for you. So anytime that you have something you need to do, something little, um, like order ink for our little printer, um, it goes on my task list. And then when I start building out my time blocking, I will actually um, put on here a clear task list and then just spend 30 minutes to an hour clearing off the items on my task list. So that's how these things get done. I also want you to see uh, these are emails. So when you have an email over here like this candidates reference list, I need to make time to go through that. To clear it off of my email, all I have to do is open it and then add to tasks, which puts it right here. And so I can edit this to actually be a do call references for Paula. And now that I have that renamed, the email is right here. So I can actually um, put a date and time on that as well. So if I want to do that uh, Monday at 8 a.m., I can say okay and now it will actually remind me on Monday at 8 a.m. kind of like a calendar task um, it will um, pop up a notification for you to go do that thing what it doesn't do is it doesn't put it on the calendar for you so I do want you to make a note of that this can be um, more like a don't forget um, type of reminder that you need to do this thing if you just haven't gotten around to it. Um, put it, you know, at the, the last hour before you go home for the day, if that's something that is higher on your priority list to make sure that you do before you leave the office, um, that can be a good reminder for you. So anytime um, you have that, I can now, when, when I do this, I can now archive um, that. And so now it falls off of my email list and anytime I want to reference it, all I have to do is click it and it brings it right back up for me. So that when it's time to do this, all I have to do is come here and click the email. I don't have to go find it. it. Takes it off of my email list. So that's what I wanted you to see. And then of course, as you start marking these done, um, it does go to a completed file um, where you can see what you've already uh, completed, which is very nice. So one thing that uh, this doesn't do is you can't share this task list. Although you can create several lists for different things you might need to do, I don't necessarily recommend this for projects. What I do recommend for projects or things that you need to share with other people is Google Keep. So um, this is actually a checklist of items that um, we're onboarding a new agent and she doesn't have a real estate license. So there were items in this list that she needs to complete and items that I need to complete. So uh, now that I have this, I can actually open it up a little bit further and you can see uh, the items that she has to do, the items I have to do, and things I have to do after the photos come back. These are things that are already done 
which is nice as well. Now, if this is too small for you, I totally get that. Pop it out into a new tab. And this is what it actually looks like on the keep side. So this is where I keep my projects, basically. Um, these are my two templates for new agent onboarding. And I just make a copy of it uh, right down here. Make a copy. You can also make a Google Doc out of this, which is super helpful too, that if you want to um, keep this as a, a, in a reference manual, in your ops manual, um, that's where you can make a copy of that too. So here you can see that I have my agent, Sue Shores, um, on this list, and I have colored it purple. You can change the colors of these if, it, um, if you want to keep a theme going, so that I, this is top of mind for me. Uh, I love these little checklists because, again, it's kind of like tasks, but because you can share it with other people, um, it, that makes it super helpful if there's certain things that you want to communicate that you're doing. Now, it doesn't tell them that you've done it. They can just open it up and see. And if they are using your um, keep just like you are, then they can see what's been done on a daily basis. They can just come over here and reference it. Um, so it's a good way to communicate with other team members how far along you are on things. What I do like about this too, you can make this interesting um, if you want to, I don't know, let's say make a task to um, create a system to collect client birthdays. And now it just adds it. So it's kind of like a Pinterest board. Um, it's kind of like a Trello board where you have a card and then you have some tasks that go with it and then you can also collaborate. You can also set up reminders. So again, if you, this is just like Siri, remind me to, um, open this card and do this task on a certain day at a certain time. It's not a true put it onto your calendar, um, but it, it is a good way to remind yourself to either add it to your calendar or to do it in that moment. You can also archive these, or if you just wanna delete it completely, you can by doing a delete note. You can also go as far as to add labels. So if you want an organization system, that um, allows you to recall things easily. Adding labels might be of interest to you. Um, and again, you can copy these to Google Docs. I think I said that. You can also add a drawing. I don't know that I would ever actually use any type of drawing, but you can uh, do a drawing this way. So, uh, got it, and I think maybe export his image. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. There you go, there's your drawing. <clears throat> so there's lots of things that you can do with this. I love that you can collaborate with it. I love that it's a checklist and then you can just archive it when you're done. Um, again, I like to um, keep notes in here to myself too, things that I wanna remind myself or keep top of mind. Um, these are books that we're reading. We actually did a back to school night at our office and we decided that this was going to be our syllabus and these are the books that we're going to study and master. So if you have any questions you can always feel free to reach out to me. Um, my email elizabeth at kansascityagent.com, elizabeth um, or egilbert at kw.com will also get me and I hope you guys use this. This has been a really helpful um, couple of applications that I use a lot, uh, and I, I think you'll get a lot of use out of them.